Hi guys, today I want to go through 10 past paper style electricity problems with you. So firstly, what is the value of the current flowing through this series circuit? Okay, well you've got a, a total resistance of 4 plus 6, which is 10 ohms. Then we're going to use V equals IR. So V divided by R is I. So 20 divided by 10, well that's 2 amps. What is the potential difference across the bulb? Okay, well we've got 6 volts going into our circuit, 4 of those volts are across the resistor, so we need to know what are the remaining uh, volts across the bulb. So we've got 6 equals 4 plus something, so 6 minus 4 gives us 2 volts, so there are 2 volts across the bulb. In an experiment to find the resistance of a resistor, where would you place the voltmeter and the ammeter? Well, the ammeter is placed in the series circuit. The voltmeter, that measures the voltage across the component, in this case the resistor. Which switches must be closed for both bulbs to light? Well, for both bulbs to light, you need to close S1 and S2. However, S3 must remain open, otherwise it's going to short out bulb B. Find the missing current value. Well, we've got 4 amps and 2 amps going through the re resistors on the left hand side. So that, that, that current is going to combine to make 6 amps. 3 of those amps goes through the top resistor. The remaining, well, it's going to be 3 plus something equals 6. Well, that gives us 3 amps. Find the current flowing through this circuit. Well, firstly we need to add up the total resistance. So 8 plus 4, well that gives us 12 ohms. V divided by R equals I, which is 6 divided by 12, which is 0 0.5 amps. What is the name of this component and what is its function? Well, it's a variable resistor and it's used to vary the current flow in a circuit. What is the name of this component and what is its function? Well, it's a diode and it only allows current to flow in one direction. What is the power rating of the bulb? Well, P equals IV. Uh, we've got uh, 6 volts for our voltage and 1.5 volts, sorry, 1.5 amps for our current. So 6 times 1.5 gives us 9 watts. What is the power rating of the resistor? Okay, well, P equals IV. Uh, so 0 0.5. 2.5 amps. Oh, but hang on, we don't have voltage. So how are we going to work out voltage? Well, we're going to use V equals IR. So V equals IR. So we've got a voltage of 0 0.25 times by 6. So a current of 0 0.25 times the resistance of 6, which is 1.5 volts. Next, we're going to use P equals IV. So we've got 0 0.25 for our current. Our voltage across our resistor is 1.5. That gives us 0 0.38 watts. Okay guys, hope you found that useful. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Goodbye for now.